UFC 259 Nunez versus Anderson took place Saturday, March 6th at the UFC Apex in Las Vegas. The GOAT returns. Two division champion Amanda the Lioness Nunez defends her featherweight title against top contender Megan Anderson. Let's talk Nunez versus Anderson. Former Invicta featherweight champion Megan Anderson, 11 and 4, fighting out of Kansas City, Missouri, by the way of Gold Coast, Australia, looks to achieve her dream of UFC gold by defeating the greatest woman's fighter of all time. Anderson is a powerful striker who uses her size and skill to dominate her opponents and has been on an impressive run and looks to become the new UFC champion. But on the other side of the octagon, you have UFC women's featherweight and bantamweight champion and number one ranked UFC women's pound for pound fighter, Amanda the Lioness Nunes. 20 and four fighting out of Florida by the way of Brazil and looks to continue building her legacy by claiming her seventh total UFC title defense. Nunes is one of the most well-rounded fighters in the UFC. She possesses an incredible fight IQ along with her well-balanced surgical-like attack. There doesn't seem to be many weaknesses with the Lioness and she is a puzzle no fighter has been able to solve. And here's how it went down. Nunes came out early on the attack. Within the first minute, the Lioness landed some nice shots that hurt Anderson and got her attention quickly. The Lioness stayed on the prowl and moments after hurt Anderson again as she fell to the mat on all fours. Nunes followed her to the mat, standing over her, raining down punches, and took Anderson's back. And Nunes set up a beautiful triangle armbar, forcing Anderson to tap. Amanda Nunes defeats Megan Anderson via submission to defend her women's featherweight title. All right, here's my final thoughts. There were a lot of questions coming into this bout. One of the biggest questions we had is how will Nunez do with her wife just giving birth to their new daughter and if this would be a big distraction. No, actually, since my daughter born was the best thing happened in my life. You know, she brings, she brought something for me, like uh, making me a better person, you know, more happy. Um, at the house, like full of love. So what, what is can get wrong with that? Well, once again, we have our answer. Nunez once again dominated on their feet and on the ground, not wasting any time, disposing of a very tough Megan Anderson for the win, and putting any doubt in anybody's mind why she is the greatest female fighter in the world. I don't care who she fights, she always puts on a show, and I can't wait to see her compete again. All right, here's some final stats on Nunez. She is the UFC Women's Featherweight and Bantamweight Champion. She is the number one ranked UFC women's pound for pound fighter. She has now 14 wins by KO, three via submission. She is on a 12 fight win streak. She now holds wins over former UFC champions Ronda Rousey, Holly Holm, Chris Cyborg, Misha Tate, and now Megan Anderson. Okay, what's next for the Lioness? She is quickly running out of worthy opponents and has taken out most of the top challengers. I think the fight that a lot of us want to see is her face off again in a super fight with the great Valentina the Bullet Shevchenko, which in their last bouts were razor close, some even believing that the Bullet won one of those fights. Guys, let me know in the comments on what you thought about the Linus performance tonight and who you think she should face next and why. Just want to give a big shout out to all of our loyal fans, we appreciate the support. Guys, don't forget to smash that like button. This is Jake Hatton with MMA Weeklies, the Lowdown Fight Breakdown. See you next time.